this city has really been through it. That, or Raiden was testing out a new explosive. Hard to say. With the money from Louis, I could buy some sweet threads here. Got a dress for success. <clears throat> My guy, what's that? What? No, don't insult me. I use the DX6500. The DX6500 makes this. Boom. The other bombs make this. Boom. You hear the difference? Totally. Very distinct difference. Dude spots so many bombs. So many bombs. Hey, it looks like he also bought a piano. That's cool. Uh, no, it's a bomb shaped like a piano. Mm -hmm. I suppose a sniper turned thief would want to stay off grid. Wait, what's this? Another alias? Ten Pin Patty. She goes bowling under that name. Hmm, didn't see that coming. Outstanding bounties. None! Whew! <laughs> but she's been caught smelling used bowling shoes. Oh, really didn't see that coming. You've reached Danielle's Echo Mail. Please leave your name and message, and when I have a moment, I will track you down and shoot you. Thanks. That's cold, Danny. Real cold. Just answer!
Has anyone ever told you how much of a dweebus you are? Not in the last 30 seconds. Yet, and you uh, have a, a, an aroma. Musk. I have a musk. Hmm. Sounds like this could be important. Would be great to fix this and get the latest news from the business world. Paco posted a photo of himself with his ratchets. They look cozy. Very cozy. Uh, I'm not sure this is 100% legal. Louis engineering schematics. I feel like I'm looking at him naked. You are. Ugh. Get over here, man. I need your help. You sure I can't get you a taco? No. Hey, amigo, listen. You haven't seen Juniper around, have you? Sup, Paco? Juniper as in your prized microbreed ratch? Juniper as the light of my life? The beat of my heart? The joy of my days? So, the ratch, right? Yes, man. She was here two minutes ago, then read and scared it off with its usual antics. <sighs> Look, I cannot leave the cart. Be a ball and find her for me, please. What I'm hearing is find Juniper and I'll give you a free taco. Just bring her back to me. Hey, that wasn't a no. One Juniper coming up. She's a sweetie. Ratchets are the galaxy's gift to Promethea. They're scrappy and disgusting. Hey, can I like you, fool? Yo, Rick, dude, uh, okay, okay, I get it. <laughs> Juniper, you in there, girl? 
That's a solid maybe. But how am I gonna get you out of there? Octavio? Why are you calling me? We are in the same place. Yeah, but I'm on business. This is a business call. Ugh. What do you want? <sighs> Pacalas Juniper. Want to help me find her? There's half a taco in it for you. No. But, fine. For the record, I'd help you for a taco. If you wanted discretion, you shouldn't have hired an explosive expert. Hate to disturb a business call, but... Hold, please. This better be good. Oh, it is. I need your talents to help me free Paco's ratch. She's trapped behind a wall. And this ratch is my problem, why? Well, it isn't, but you get to explode things. And Paco will owe you one. Free tacos? Free tacos. Point to the problem. Thanks, <laughs> Radon. Hello? Hello? Right. As I was saying, when you hire Radon, you better expect a spectacle. On Juniper, as promised. Oh, how sick you this little rat cat ever was. Yes, it's my Juniper, mi amor. <clears throat> Thanks, Ox. Oh, you want to see? One taco, yeah. Uh, uh, hey, is that the new foreign model, right? That thing's a real deal. You got the gel broken, right? I got some executables that will knock your socks off. The first one is called Vaultlander Finder. That one helps you. Find Vaultlanders? Hey, <laughs> you're a smart tamale. The other is called Financial Organizer 2000. Well, that one... Organizes your finances. No. It hacks electronics. They just pick the crappy name. Try it out on the radio. Dale. Jackpot! <laughs> this is one sweet executable. The Tidio Hermona has been spotted in the skies above Meridian City. We are being invaded. This isn't business news. Again, Atlas troops are already mobilizing in defense. Citizen militias are defending alongside them. I repeat, a Tidio invasion! That does not sound good. No. 
It definitely does not. Oh, come on! Not another war! We're still picking up the pieces from the last one. Welcome to Franz Frogert's. How can I help? You. Do my eyes deceive me, or is that Reba Fulfolia? Fran, oh my gosh. How long has it been? What brings you here? Oh, silly me. I'm here to assess the damage. I saw F. Miskowitz on the claim, but I naturally assumed you'd pass this place on to your kid or something. No, uh, unless you count Octavio. No, no kids. Or your husband, maybe. Nope. No. <sighs> just me, Reba. So you're still running your parents' Frogert store, just like back in school. That is adorable. You? <sighs> you look good. Right? I just got a promotion at the firm, and it came with quasi-mandatory plascrete surgery. I feel like a teenager again. Which is so appropriate, given where we are. <laughs> Gosh, you look just like I remember. Still the same exact Fran. Uh, thanks? <laughs> oh my god, you're so funny. And oh my gosh, guess what? Remember that girl you had a crush on back in school? We got married, right? <laughs> anyway, I don't think I've seen you since you activated that crazy mode on your hover chair. That was nuts. I do not use that mode anymore. So, my claim. Oh, sure. <laughs> no more gossiping, Reba. Work time. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes, please show me the damage. A lot of debris fell when the laser hit. I've left it in place so you can see it. What a delightful justification for laziness. Aren't you a clever one? Silly little vault landers toys. How kitschy. The jukebox is a little worse for wear, too. Looks broken to me. Nah, just needs a little of the old Fran razzle-dazzle. I don't like music anyway. This is where the laser beam didn't do too much damage. So why are you showing it to me? <laughs> Basis for comparison. Who's he? My apprentice, I guess. Good kid, stupid as hell, but in the handsome way. Um, do you need a minute, or...? Not usually.
through a lot of trouble to get one of these machines installed, but as you can see, the damage from the laser wrecked it. <laughs> Seems busted. Oh, it works. Just gotta give it some of that Fran magic. There you go. Just gotta know how to turn it on. See this? I call it the Malawan Skylight. This is where the Malawan laser beam cleaved right through the ceiling. Hmm, the claim says the hole is 5.2 meters long, but it looks like it's only about 4.9. Does that matter? Everything matters. There was a bit of damage behind the counter here. The laser hit those two? Nah, that's just shoddy, tedious workmanship. Knew I should have bought Hyperion, but I didn't want to support Handsome Jap. Oh, you're one of those. on the house. <laughs> this is dairy free. What's a dairy free? Thankfully, I've been able to repurpose the basement as extra freezer space. Without it, I would have lost so much stock. Great! I love it when people show me all the damage that didn't occur. That's always super useful when assessing a claim. This is where the laser beam finally dissipated. Doesn't look that bad. Nothing a coat of paint wouldn't fix. Yeah, if only I had some money from an insurance claim. Oh, so I could buy some. Noted. Anything else you want to show me? No, I think that about does it. Well, that just about covers the front of the shop. Let's see that back room. I've pretty much seen everything I need already. I just gotta cross those T's and dot those bullet holes. The laser beam didn't hit the back room. Everything you need to see is up here. Aren't you cute? Thinking you know what I do and do not need to see. <laughs> Are you the insurance agent now? <laughs> oh my god. Can you imagine yourself in this suit? <laughs> now go ahead and open that door. 
I said, open the door. Um, wait a minute. Fran, your weirdness was cute at first, but now I'm remembering why we never invited you to stuff. Let go. This is gonna be awkward. Oh, I'm gonna kill you. He was trying to murder me. Hence the ice picks, I presume. And you froze him? Yeah. Francine Miskowitz, your insurance claim has been approved. Really? I thought you'd be, uh, I don't know, upset. He was trying to kill you. Frankly, I'm impressed you had the stomach to stand up for yourself. <laughs> it almost makes me wonder if I should have been nicer to you in school. <laughs> nah. Enjoy your money. If you're gonna freeze any more creeps, let me know. I wanna watch next time. Uh, will do. Must approach this with level heads. If you comply, no harm will come to you. If you do not comply, your life is forfeit. There is no need for bloodshed, but we can and will kill you, which will inevitably shed blood. Citizens of Meridian, hear me when I say Tedior is prepared to take your life if you do not comply. We can't let these bastards take our streets. Not on our watch. I'm with you, Octavio. Let's take the fight to them. I'm gonna take the high ground. Oh! 
You're welcome. That's your last favor for a while. Oh, but we... What if I really... I'm taking the training wheels off, Ock. Gotta learn to survive on your own, like a big boy. I don't wanna! Our commander has fallen! When I fight whoever did this, I'll shoot them! Really up! More thousand surgeons to kill! Let me out! That regrettably mouthy weapon might prove useful. Read my mind! Far, this weapon is not useful. How dare you! I am an official TDR weapon designed for TDR personnel only! You can't manhandle me with your filthy corporate and approved paws! You have no standing with TDR! And you smell like you're poor! Ow! Is that a good enough reason? Laying down the law. I like this, Octavio. Insurgents near the taco shop, closing on primary suspect. That functioning TDO comms device could prove useful. And he's not using it anymore. It's not stealing if he's already dead. Truly a model of human decency. So much. Nice try, journalism hater. Hey, it's the fourth estate. You can grab my handle, but you'll never take my freedom. You're a real piece of work, gun guy. Why don't you turn me around and look me in the face? While you say that, you lowlife! And the name's Brock! Bang! 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 He's over here! He's over here! The insurgent's over here! Nothing personal. But I just think I like you better when you're a corpse. That seems extremely personal. Alright, enough for this! I think we should be safe here. I have ascertained that you are legally positioned within GDR invasion jurisdiction. Pursuant to protocol, I am justified to pacify the situation by terminating your life. The situation is about to become kinetic. Do you have any last words? Do not resist or risk escalating the situation. Don't shoot. Your feedback is valuable to TDR. I will not de-escalate the situation by ending your life. Wait, wait. At least tell me your name. I deserve to know the name of the man that kills me. Oh, it's Hubert Hot Dog. My friends all call me. 
You just got L zero U one three. Hubert Hot Dog, assault, planting evidence, and Grand Theft Tango. There was a contract on him. Yippee! It's not safe here. We should find somewhere to lie low. In my experience, human soldiers do not take kindly to those who kill their commanders. It was Danielle who sniped the commander, not me. Whatever the case, you're probably wanted. I say probably because I do not want to check and shoot you. You're a real pal. We should go to France to lie low. And risk ringing Tedior to her doorstep. Relax, we got the comms device, right? We'll hear him coming a mile away. Plus, Fran takes everything in stride. She's a super chill, calm woman. Today has gone so far, this seems about right. Just get it over with already! But Smooch! Safety first! <gasps> New friend. Time to run! knew the so-called cycles of this planet merely needed time to develop their own cultural norms. <laughs> so pleased to meet you. What? I'm... When you said we were friends, you meant... Us! But not... The Fart Fathers! <laughs> yeah. Got it. What do we do? Murder! 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 
She did a good one! A glorious prelude of viscera and confetti! No! My name is Anu. Thank you. No! Anu saved us! What are you talking about? Anu did a hero bludgeon! I started this day as a respected engineer with a dream and an invention that could make the world a less violent place. And now, I'm an unemployed murderer with nothing but the smoldering wreck of the car that I stole! Unemployed murderer! No! To staple face! You are Hero Girl! Who's Stapleface? Oh, right. Of course. Today was Stapleface's death day! Death day? Punishment for bad thoughts! Thought about becoming not Psycho! Oh, is being a psycho something you can quit? Not without a death day! Ah, oh, got it, I think. But Anu helped! No more death day! I, um, I have this, uh, small rock. I think it somehow rolled into my pocket during the fight. That be reborn day. It's identical to all the rocks currently at your feet. It's nothing, really. Thank you with my body. Oh. Thanks. I'd like to get down now, please. Thanks for that. Well, Stapleface, this has been a revelation, but I should really get going. Where? To find my brother, Octavio. He works at a frozen yogurt shop in Meridian City. I have to see him. It's actually really urgent, and I've already lost so much time. I hope your feet are fast! Not ideal. Of course, nothing about this day has been ideal. Stapleface, it's been unique. I hope our paths cross again someday. Yes! At an intersection! I'm back, by popular demand. You're late. I have a really good excuse this time. Uh, so, first thing, 
This is my friend Louis. I am known formally as L0U13. It is customary to respond to an introduction. Please, state your name, for the record. Hiya. Assassin? Correct. It's not what you think. But you're okay? The Teteor invasion force hasn't made it out here yet? For Flip's sake! Another corp invasion? You haven't heard? I had my own stuff going on. What kind of... Octavio, moment of your time. The killbot can wait up front. Fran. Just so you know, he was programmed to be an assassination bot. He doesn't like killing. I mean, obviously. Who likes killing? <laughs> he asked for a lifetime supply again. Right before trying to kill me. And you let him live? Maybe recovery is working. We'll see. Well, clearly you have nothing to worry about from Louis. At least he's programmed to mess people up. What are you doing hanging out with troublemaking assassin bots like that anyway? I taught you better than that. Oh, stop acting like you're my mom. Oh, I am not your mom. What's damage? Streets are cleared. Commander's dead. Killed by some street punks. Any positive IDs? Affirmative. No whereabouts. Uh, Franz Fogerts. Oh, was it the one with the negative 3.5 yell rating. Yeech. All right now. Mind telling me what that's about? Uh, well, when TDR showed up and started shooting, we kind of shot back. I think they might have sort of tracked us here. We'll commandeer as many free samples as possible before eradicating target. Hug. I'm fine. No, you're not. No, I'm not. Come here. They're gonna kill me. Look, I'm sorry about this, but I need your help. When those troops get here, I need you to cover for me. For the love of the almighty robot police, man, you know what happens when they don't believe me, right? I know, it's too much to ask, but I've got nowhere else to go, and... Stop. Look. Just... Make sure he stays quiet. Of course. No problem. I can't thank you enough. Thank me if I get out of this without a new set of holes in my head. No. The boy and the bot, where are they? Bot sighted! Hello. On your knees! Yes. Rebel apprehended! Well done, you're really, really good at this. Oh, thank you. Love you. I love you too. What? Where's the boy? Where's the boy? Respond! Say something! Do it now! You're trespassing. You got three seconds to get out of here before things get rowdy. Is that a threat? Are you threatening us? Hey, you want to show how we respond to threats? Prepare to fire! Preparing! Tell you what. You better get a kill shot. Because bullet wounds make me real angry. Firing! You are about to execute. A to your licensee and subsequently impact quarterly profits. Stand down. What? We're Froyo machines. They're TDR brand. We can't kill her or she'll stop paying the licensing fee. Come on! Ah! Uh, what are you two idiots doing? Hold fire! <laughs> Explain yourselves. Chairwoman Coldwell! Ma'am, we were pursuing a rebel, but he's being housed by this woman, and we wanted to shoot her, 
but she's a TDR licensee and now our guns will fire and... Oh, damn licensee loophole. I will have the gunsmith fix that before the next invasion. So, uh, we should just let her go? For God's sakes, use your imagination! If you can't shoot her, bring that disgusting parody of a frozen yogurt stand down on their heads. Let the rubble kill them. I swear... I should have trusted this invasion to General Stanwyck. Let him deal with you idiots. What's your name? Ah, Coldwell. Chairwoman Coldwell, darling, get it right. Just committing it to memory. Cause once I survive this, I'm gonna devote every waking moment to tracking you down and putting a bullet in your head. Hmm. Soldier, bring me closer. Frozen yogurt. Hmm. That's when you use milk instead of cream, yes? Never was much for it. Just seemed objectively worse than ice cream. Beneath it, almost. Well, some people might say that's a matter of opinion. But you and I know that's not true. Hmm? Some things are just better than others. Some people are just better than others. <laughs> On any planet in any galaxy, the cream rises to the top. And that's why I'm here and you're there. Soldiers, bring this place down already. Yes, ma'am. Hooks, you! 